not. Uh, Axe is going to have the buyback here and make a big play to defend this tier 3 tower if they want to be able to keep their racks alive, and I'm sure they do. The speed of the Silence already on a Dubu. MP looks for the opening, has to hit the right tornado. They managed to get the call on a Fada with a blade mail activated. Looks like Fada is going to be going down. A nice ice blast. It still manages to clip Eve through the cyclone. A tornado comes through, and Fada will be chopped down. Matumbaman still pushing forward, managed to catch. Fendi Flood can't quite finish him off, and the cold feet will actually stun him. Well, Fred, he sees that sitting duck, and he's just going to bide his time. Oh, he knows go he can kite these two. He can jump in with the fresh blade mail. Get the chop, go for Kuro, he's got a triple kill already, give him the ultra. Forev, he's got the mana for it too. Kuro, he's just looking to be able to catch MP, but it's not going to happen. Forev actually just gives the kill over as MP takes it instead. MVP Phoenix holds. Not the case. Tornado, to the tower ready now. to go, cold snap a little bit more. Jump in, QL managed to get a two-man stun, finished off Kuro, now the call, actually managed to get both. Oh, no, 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 that's going to be three down and Liquid jumping with the rest of their course, but Matumba Man, he popped the BKB at last second, that's not going to be good. Fada is left alone, Matumba Man is just about to come back up, but the Ice Blast should be enough for them to be able to quickly finish up Fada with the, the Ice Blast Liquid, they're full on committing for this one, but they have to get out. If they lose too many heroes, this could be the turnaround. A Sprout controlling up KO up with a save! Forev gets the call on two, gets the dunk on one, and Matumba Man will end up going down to the right click oh for MVP boy. Phoenix. Liquid, have they just thrown away the advantage they in this game? They tie on the Furion. At least the Beastmaster ran away because he bought back as well and traveled in, but he now has to just run back to his base. It necessarily and about kills. Q out. Uh, Ashley, he's going to go back into the jungle here. Spots out, Curl. Gets the stun, backs away. Doesn't want to risk it. Now the boots of travel two oh, on the QO. Two. Now they can make that kind of play, but already to blink away. Dodging the ice blast, but Fred is able to catch up. The Chivas goes down, primal roar for the stun. They managed to catch Curl. Should be able to stun him up. Mike Joe protects him with the sprout. Now the force that forward QO gets the kill, but at what a cost. He's already down to half HP. Joker and BKB about okay. to run out. He wants to use this Aegis, and he will oblige Liquid. Take him out. Fought in the positioning. They sprout out MP, blocking QL's retreat as well. He can't go anywhere. He's stuck inside. The swap goes down, but Dubu, or Staff away, will be able to survive. But it's MP who gets caught by the telekinesis. He's trying to run himself away with the ghost walk and will be able to get some distance. But Curl, he jumps forward, catches Dubu, swap back. QO is going to be hit by that one. Nice steal from Jarek. Straight into the homing missile. QO now has to man fight up against Matumba Man, but doesn't have a prayer with four others surrounding Matu. Massive making wins. sure they win it. 30 seconds, and now he's going to be telekinesis. Is up into the homing missile. Force the pop as BKB now gets the sprint. Boots of travel. Level two gets the call on a Jarek. Second, they're going to be the one, but they've already managed to kill the ancient apparition. Matu goes down as well. He's down for 90. Oh man, they only get the AA there. I think maybe the Fury should have fought with their team. They need to bring many people to shut down this Larder. Oh, just sneaking. Placing down two wards, he knows vision is everything. This fight, oh, he sees the swap. Oh, he managed to get the swap on a Matumba Man. They get the call to follow up, and Matumba Man, he just ends up dying just like that. He has a buyback here, and he's gonna wait for his opportunity. He throws it down now. Melee Rax is up. QO gonna pop his BKB, turns around, doesn't actually look to kill Fada. Now the fun is a bit separated, they'll go for him now, but the swap out from Jarex. What a good save, and managed to get the first step away from QO as well. Now Fada pops the exorcism, but they have to stop MVP Phoenix's retreat. They have to actually be able to fight this and win this fight. Looks like they're going to be able to get for Ed. MP runs himself away. Oh, Looks like chasing. MVP Phoenix as a whole are now going to turn around. They have the buyback. Five controls the target. Jumps in with the Sheevas as well. Oh, they come with Tumba Man. Oh boy, Matu. He explodes with a sun strike and a chop for Fareb. Ice Blast hits on and blows up one. They have the Yule Scepter there, but it's not going to be enough. Fareb on the front lines will end up going down to mind control, but they have to manage to take out the Death Prophet. The buyback goes out. Range racks next target for MVP Phoenix. Jarek jumps in, tries to stop that Lincoln's. They will open up the Bloodthorn. That's going to be enough to actually kill MP. Oh, barely. Got him. Now Febby. Oh, barely managed to live through that one. QO also a sliver of HP. So close to being brought down to Fury and being in behind them as well. He's oh, looking they're going to try and sandwich heroes. this one. They're going to try and sandwich these heroes while they're still low, but the heart it's racking in for QO. He's already at half HP. If they could get the Invoker. Swap in, gonna be able to catch him. BKB are dirty, activated. Fada goes for the Ancient Apparition, will be able to get him another swap out from Jarex. Draws some time with the Ghost Scepter, and bides, bides, bides. The Telekinesis is gonna be able to hit on QO. Maybe that Disable actually wins it for Mind Control. He's manning up with the Blood Thorn, he gets the kill. Definitely there. Flash, gonna be too late. Mind Control dies, but maybe with the buyback. Liquid, Jarex, he's just trying to buy time. He needs five more seconds until Beastmaster's up. 35 for, for another base race. 
Uh, the but creeps are just Phoenix. too far away from the base, though. They have to defend this one. Yeah, I think it's just going to be too much. They're going to be able to get the call on the liquid. But oh, Tumbleman, yeah. he's going to be blown up once again. He's done for all the way into the throne. Doesn't <laughs> matter. Burning Bush be damned forever. Takes it all. And MVP Phoenix looks for those kills. Now turn back to Tier 4's Alacrity up. And there it goes. They're taking it. The throne's going to explode just like that. MVP Phoenix, they're taking the very last fight, evening up the kills, and they end it. They take it. Two lane racks advantage with the Nature's Prophet on Liquid, and MVP Phoenix still come through. It's a miracle in Manila. 2 0, looking great in the lower, in the group stage, and just coming back here. Liquid say they were confident against them. Can you ever be confident going up against MVP? Unbelievable. On a LAN? MVP Phoenix at LANs always show up. But